first day of fall, um, if you're watching this, it'll be the first day of autumn. <laughs> I had those, uh, I finally, I used those planner stickers in my planner to mark the first day of fall. I was quite pleased with myself, so I thought I would show you guys that in the intro. But anyways, I just applied some of the Alley UV Extra Gel. It um, is the one that I say kind of gives a waxing look, but it's really humid out today, so I'm glad to have a gel-based vehicle with, yes, that one does have quite a bit of alcohol content in it, which is not a bad thing. It's perfect, actually, for, for shiny conditions. It's not bad, but it can be drying, which I'm kind of wanting right now, something a little more drying. And then rocking L to MD on my lips. <laughs> So that's what's going on. Last night we watched um, another episode of Sharp Objects. We are, I think we have maybe one more left to go. And uh, what else did we do? Up oh, here comes my mom. You're wearing your new day top from Target. It looks really Bye. nice on you. Well, good. Yeah. Is the air a little bit crisper or is it just me? It's a tad bit crisper, but yeah. it's, it's pretty humid. Yeah, it is much. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. You got one of your bagels this morning? I got a bagel. Mm. I'm really hungry this morning. Yeah. Um, a little bit of tofu, and then I have tofu scramble underneath. Uh -huh. Kale, potatoes, and I also got hash browns. So oh. I'm having a starch overload. What is that? I hope that's the solution. <laughs> what they have a uh, Janice Joplin's singing Me and My Bobby McGee is on, and it reminded my mom that uh, the song was, I didn't realize this, it was written by Chris Christofferson. I didn't realize that. But we did watch A Star is Born on, Net, was it on Netflix a while yeah. back uh, with Barbara Streisand. I have to be honest with you guys, I did not like it. Neither did you, right? The beginning, you know, it's like, okay, okay. But, and then it goes into this fantabulous romping in the yeah. nature. Yeah. Was, just, we, we couldn't we finish it. We couldn't finish it. And, you know, uh, here's the thing. I don't really enjoy musicals that much. So, if you enjoy musicals, I think you'll like it. But her voice is worth yeah. listening yeah. to. Yeah. Her voice, she's, the songs are, the soundtrack is great. But I feel like... You could just listen to the soundtrack. It's it's interesting because I used to have the album. Yeah. But I never saw the movie. Okay. Because when we put the movie up on Netflix, the that was the cover of the album, mm -hmm. the two of them. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I had that album, and then I remembered some of the songs from it. Yeah. But um, I never saw the movie. Yeah. So I'm hoping that it hasn't ruined the. Uh, remake one when for are me. Gonna watch that? Well it comes out in October. Oh okay. So <laughs> I just went with steel I just went with steel cut oats today and I put some blueberries in there and some toasted pecans, some dried blueberries. I topped it with hemp seeds and cinnamon. You know I was trying they have a shaker with desiccated coconut flakes in it. But they had packed the coconut flakes in there so so much mm -hmm. that you couldn't shake them out. It was like a wad of coconut down there so I didn't get any coconut dusting this morning. <laughs> yeah the shakers are a little hard to use. Yeah and then I've got my Americano here. I have this thing I enjoy putting um they have cocoa powder on the little milk creamer bar. I like to put a sprinkling of cocoa powder and a sprinkling of cinnamon in my coffee. It it makes it taste kind of sweet. Yeah, yeah without so adding cool. any sugar. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey guys. So we're in the car <laughs> again. <laughs> again, um, and I thought to tell you all. Last night I took Ty B on a, his little fitness walk. He has gotten really buzzy. I, I mean, that's the only word I can think of to describe him. At night he gets kind of hyper, and uh, he, you know, I had my little slide slide clogs shoes on. And I can walk at a very brisk pace in them, but he was pulling so fast, I had to run. And it was like, Ty B, slow down. He's gotten really 
yeah, really he's strong and fast. Rescue. Yeah, he's got. He forgets he has four legs, and we only have two. I know. I was like, dang, this little, this little fluff ball can move it. He does have his frisky time. Uh, I'd say in the evening. Yeah. And then after he, he exhausts his energy, he kind of crashes. We decided to come to Walmart, but my goodness, we got. We actually got lost coming to Walmart because they had closed the normal exit uh, because they were uh, resurfacing it or something. <laughs> My mom gets a gold star in navigation today. I couldn't have done that. Well, I wouldn't have been able to do it without GPS, but <laughs> I don't think I did very well. How many loops have we made? <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> I'm to gather myself. All in the pursuit of discounted housewares. Ooh, Halloween decor. Mini pumpkins. Get spooky. I don't know what was more challenging this weekend. The, um... The, uh little puzzle that we had to do at Sherlock Holmes or getting to Walmart. I remember my brain is frazzled. Oh, is newborn baby alive back? Cries when she needs mommy? Is that, that, that's, that song is, is, is ringing a memory. Mm. Newborn baby alive, cries when she needs mommy. And I think it would urinate or something? Yeah, I think you put water in it and then squeezed it and it would wet its diaper. Sounds... Sounds fun. <laughs> oh, Pioneer Woman has a crock pot. Look how jazzy that is. Move over, Bree. My mom is on a mission to get an avocado scooper. She's got avocado utensil envy from one of her favorite YouTubers, Shelly's Home Life. woman on a mission to mash. I don't know, I don't know that they're going to have it, but... It doesn't hurt to look. It's, I mean, as long as we're here, we did invest a lot to get this here. This looks like the grab... Oh, here we go. Is that this it? This is it, but it's not it. Yeah, because you it's want... similar. There's some, has a masher. There's something you want that scoops it out, yeah. too, correct? This is, is um, along the lines of that mm -hmm. one, but it, the, the one that I've seen on Shelly's vlog, yeah, it's it's more substantial. It's got a curvature to it, too. I saw that the Hask hair mask people, the ha you know those Hask hair uh -huh. masks? They came out with a body moisturizer oh. that's like a spray. I'm sure it's just a bunch of fragrance, but I'm just kind of wanting to see if they had it here. Well, let's go look. Well, no luck with the body moisturizers, but they have Hask masks here, and they have a lot of fun hair masks. I'm, I don't do hair masks, or, you know, that's not part of my normal routine, so don't, don't get excited. <laughs> I don't do it. I'm too lazy to really do anything with my hair, but I have tried one of these, as I mentioned earlier, and they have them here. This coconut milk one, I bet, is nice. They smell really good, but they also have this brand, La Bang Hair. Hydrate Me Coconut. Come in these little, they, they look like those little uh, baby food sucky packs, <laughs> but they have that, and then this one looks like a good one for curly hair, anti-frizz detangling hair mask. Comment below on if you've tried this one. It's got ceramides in it. I don't know that putting ceramides on the hair shaft does anything, but but create a buildup probably that decreases breakage. I tried a sample of this Love and Beauty shampoo and I did not like it. Have you ever tried this? Love and Beauty? Uh -uh. No. no, I never have. It's, it, fact, I didn't, I've never seen that. I didn't think it was, much. I was not impressed with the little sample that I tried the one time. I kind of want to try the Hask cactus water, mostly because it, That's the power of advertising, and the packaging. I just imagine that being mean. super slippery in the shower. The cactus water? Yeah. Now a colored hair mask, is that going to tinge your hair this color? No, I think it's for color-treated color hair. Oh, oh, to retain the. Okay. To retain the. That makes heat. more sense. 
to retain the color. I mean, <laughs> this colored hair mask, deep conditioning hair mask for oily hair. Walmart has Yankee Candle. This ginger pumpkin. And yeah, I know about smelling the lids thing. Someone commented that. Be Ooh, ginger pumpkin's really nice. Uh, that's Smell a pretty it. container. Yeah, that it's awesome. nice that it's a square. I really like that. Yeah, this is nicer than that other pumpkin one. That was that at the at at Kroger? Kroger that yeah, yeah, me. the um, apple, yeah. the pumpkin spice Tuscany candle. Yeah, this is nice. It's a nice jar. Oh, they have big ones too. Pear and tea leaf. Oh, I like that. Nice smell. Ooh, that's nice. Clean. Ooh, that's really nice. Now here's the Walmart brown mainstays apple pumpkin. People say these are pretty good. Boy, the wax melts are only 94 cents. Maybe I'll try Yankee Candle. I said I wasn't gonna buy any more Yankee Candle wax melts. <laughs> Banana pumpkin's pretty good. I was thinking that would be too conflicting, having banana and pumpkin, like you, your brain would get confused, but it smells really good. It's like Sharpie Palooza in here. Have every kind of Sharpie you could possibly want. I had these Sharpie retractable highlighters at one point, and I found they dried up pretty quickly. But I love the idea of retractable highlighters because I, I don't like recapping. It's hard to to keep from making a mess. Now, see, I think the silver, unless you're writing on black paper, that's... It's a gel, maybe. Yeah, it's just not going to pop to the eyes. No. <laughs> but it'd be nice on black paper, I bet. For around the holidays, that might be neat. <laughs> for New Year's oh, Eve. Really have a nice I say that like I'm going to be writing New Year's Eve letters <laughs> <laughs> to long lost friends. <laughs> I could see you doing that. Family escapes group coloring. Oh, I like that activity. That's almost better than a puzzle. I enjoy puzzles, but the family coloring is nice. Yeah, each person fun. gets a each person gets a piece of this picture. That's neat. I really like that. And it doesn't look like stressful coloring. I find a lot of, like, you you don't seem to mind the adult coloring books, but some of them stress me yeah, out. Yeah, they have a lot of detail. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of coloring book I need. Big shapes. <laughs> and I like it when it's on a nice white paper. I don't like it. I mean, I'm all for recycling, but a coloring book on recycled paper, it's often a disappointment. I know it's sustainable, but it's not sustainable if it sucks. <laughs> wow, this is a rather nice G2 set here. See, I wouldn't use all... I, I like the metallic pens, but I'd rarely use them. And they dry up or something. This file box, and I really like it. Um, they also have little magazine things, but they're kind of expensive. Or somebody six or cheaper at Ikea. What about a tray to, like this to keep your markers in? They rattle around. Oh, you don't want them to rattle? Yeah. En route to the clothing, and this is in the children's section. I'm stopping to uh, to do a little touch, touch of vision here. These these look like they would get super staticky very easily, particularly if you live in a dry climate like Colorado. This would be laden with static. <laughs> but they're, they're comfy. Kind of cute. I wonder if they have those in adult sizes. Although extra large is probably more or less adult small. Somehow we're in the men's underwear. <laughs> men's uh, men's undershirts are nice though to wear as PJs. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> Oh, that's nice fabric. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That is nice. I have a shirt in that green color down there that I, I really like. And this um, fabric, this material, this brand, 
after you wash it, it it's and dry it, it stays nice. Yeah, it doesn't it's get modal. It's yeah, modal. it doesn't get nasty. The the Walmart brand. I, I, oh. So my mom has found <laughs> was looking for pajamas. We always seem to be looking for pajamas. We don't like to to think about having to wear regular I, I clothes. Don't know PJs why, are comfy. I don't care for the jogger. You don't like thing. elastic around your ankle. Probably a good idea though, because while you're sleeping, your pants like doesn't ride up. Yeah. Way, the struggle is real. They have Halloween scrubs. Uh, my mom wants to show me some pajamas that she finds co comical. But they have Halloween PJs. Oh, oh. mummy dog. Vegan. <laughs> this is not vegan. <laughs> is this a Halloween costume? It's like a onesie to be cozy in, but yeah. Why do you need to? <laughs> it must be a Halloween pajama. If we should come up with some kind of a bet, and whoever whoever loses has to wear that for has to get that and wear it for the entire an entire like Saturday. Hello, my name is Moody Cow. <laughs> oh, they do they do have adult sizes of these barefoot dreams kind of knockoffs. Ooh, now that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, I feel it. Feel it. Don't touch it. You don't like it? No, it reminds me of... It would uh, attract a lot of fur. The Sunny and Cher when she wore that fur oh, vest. yeah. I've got you, babe. <laughs> we could dress up him as Ty B. <laughs> oh, mm. he looked, The way he buzzed around the, the walkway. <laughs> this might be that way. That Walmart is almost magically tidy. I was observing one of the employees. I yeah. mean, they, they seem to hire at this particular Walmart strictly type A personalities because this um, employee was, there, there were boxes of Halloween cookie cutters. And in any other Walmart in America, you would go in there and the cookie cutters would be all, you know, topsy-turvy and all over the place. She was methodically taking each cookie cutter and lining it up um, so that it, you know, the, the outer part of the cookie cutter faced out. I mean, it was, wow. it was impressive. I, I, I mean. I like people that take their work seriously. Yeah, they really pride do. Of, uh, pride of work. And they actually have friendly greeters. I thought the Walmart greeter thing was a thing of the past, but. They really do have. Do you mind if I put that up? Go it for it. Sort of blocks. Yeah, sorry. My yeah, vision. let's not block vision. It's going home. Let's see if we get lost going home. Yeah, let's see if we can get home without getting lost. <laughs> and when I say lost, I mean lost. Is that what's going on? I've never consumed Jack in the Box. Have you? I mean, no, I don't think they, they have, have anything that there that's vegan. Uh, spokesperson. Yeah. yeah. People are crazy about their, the, people are crazy for their, I, they have some sugary iced coffee, and I looked up the nutritional contents, and it has like seven days worth of your sugar content, I think in one oh, beverage. That's good. It's like glycemic <laughs> overload. Boo! <laughs> Wasn't very nice of me. So, the story... The story with my mystery closet door back there is that... There is an air conditioning vent in the closet and the apartment itself is ever so slightly at a decline, a down, a, a decline, on, on an ever so slight decline. And so if I do not close the door a certain way, which I just did, when the air conditioning kicks on and because of the decline, the, the door can kind of creep open. So now there's not a spooky ghost in there. It's just 
just a little pesky problem that happens. So if you all know <laughs> that I don't use soap on my body as somebody with eczema, it's just, you know, bad news bears really, you know, using body washes are can really, really, really be problematic in, in general. I dry out the skin, you know, they're laden with fragrance. Even if you don't have eczema, I mean, like particularly on the arms and legs, and back, uh, you know, it can lead to, it can just lead to dry, itchy skin as we get older, wiser. You know, it's just definitely, definitely something to avoid. Um, you know, uh, you know, I can see in areas where there's a lot of occlusion, like under the armpits, a little bit of soap is, is probably okay. But um, anyways, I never use, I don't use soap. But in my Fat Fit Fun Box, I did get the Skin & Co. Roma Blue & Capri um, Shower Gel, and I've been trying it out. Oh, it doesn't have a paraben for us to, for us to, uh, to tease and torment and bully, but it is cruelty-free. Um, I don't know if it's vegan or not. It smells really good. Um, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna play with with fire, you might as well you might as well be warm, right? <laughs> and this smells good. It smells like um, you know. I think somebody I heard somebody describe when they got it out of their box um, pretty correctly. It it smells like something that you would run into at a fancy like spa or hotel, and you have no idea what you're bathing in. You're just like, oh, this smells so good and luxurious. Yeah, this, this Skin & Co. Roma, I imagine that uh, this is something that would be popular in, in a lot of spas. It even has this like beautiful oceanscape on the bottle. It really makes you want to zen out. So um, yeah, I have been enjoying a little, a little dabbling with this, but no, not something that I'm going to incorporate into my usual routine, although I will use it up. There it is. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.